1947, I did not realize that you still existed, especially now that the other generations are activated. Query, what is it you wish, that one? I see that your recent reassembly has not affected your behavior core, nor your attitude. Statement. If I require a similar diagnostic in the future, I shall seek out the Uridonian. Oh, I do not think so. There is much work that needs to be done first. Statement. My memory core has suffered some damage. Statement. Yet somehow, a gap in my circuits makes me feel as if I should remember you. Statement. This is all the more important since during my routine inspection of all potential escape routes from this vessel, I made an interesting discovery. Observation. The Nava computer is voice locked. As a consequence, you are now responsible for course corrections and astrogation. Statement. That is indeed a great burden. It also raises many questions. Query, why would someone lock the Nava computer? Answer, presumably to hide where one has been. Statement, I believe this ship has been somewhere. Somewhere you wish to keep him. Yes, General.
conversation is gratitude. Usually, my conversations do not have the give and take that our current interaction does. And, of course, there is much more screaming on the part of the listener when the torture field is activated. I am willing to indulge some of your questions. There are several factors, all of which affect each other. There is the stabilization of Dantooine, the preservation of the restoration efforts on Telos, the political resolution on Onderon, and the unification of a religious power base in the galaxy, either Jedi or Sith. The destruction of my yacht and of all my activities on Nar Shaddaa carry a cost that would take you several lifetimes to pay back. But perhaps the offer of credits will spur you to act quicker, more decisively. I am not unsympathetic to such greed. For every system you stabilize, I will reward you for your efforts. and mercy only erode respect and power. There is the stabilization of Dantooine, the preservation of the restoration efforts on Telos, the political resolution on Onderon, and the unification of a religious power base in the galaxy, either Jedi or Sith. Dantooine is a vital resupply point for the Republic. If its stability is compromised, then the Republic will lose control over many outlying worlds, and they will become a haven for raiders and smugglers. The economic loss from such outer worlds is greater than the Republic is aware of. If the matter is not corrected, then it shall fall. Onderon is an outer rim world, rich in ecological resources. Its aggressive ecology is capable of bringing devastated worlds back to life. It is currently experiencing a political schism split between two forces. One must triumph for the planet to be stabilized. Telos is instrumental to the stability of the Republic. Its success or failure will dictate the economic forecasts of many other worlds. Of course, since the destruction of the Paragas facility, the odds of the Telos restoration project being successfully completed is close to zero. Then stop causing events of planetary destruction. You are a walking catastrophe and you are not making saving the Republic any easier. Then its proton core will detonate, turning this 
shipped into space dust. There is no negotiation in this. I will not allow you to interfere with my operations and plans. This unit comes with a droid scrambler that you may use against mechanized opponents to randomize their defensive and offensive protocols. Use it and it will cause droids to wage a civil war in their programming and they will turn on their allies. Its power source is not limitless, but it is enough. In addition, this unit comes equipped with a portable cloaking generator. It will allow it to enter places undetected in reconnaissance mode. How droll. What an amusing Jedi specimen you are. You may speak. The assassin droids. I have encountered some, purchased the service of others. Why, I asked them to. To be honest, I believe that was always their intention, but it seems their directive was dormant for some time. If you mean produced, no, I do not. I do know that there are a surprising number scattered throughout the Republic fleet searching for you. What they will do now that you are found is easy to predict. Of course they are. They're droids with very specific protocols that unless changed will dictate their movements. Unless you shut them down at the source, they will be stalking you until you are captured or terminated. Why don't you ask their predecessor? That archaic memory-impaired assassination droid will know more about his subsequent generations than I would. They are masquerading as protocol droids. I have discovered that when they are used in negotiations, they have a predictable pattern of sabotaging whatever peace treaties they are involved with. Because the Republic has no reason to investigate otherwise, and any discovery of their true purpose has been concealed by well-timed accidents. Because their behavior is predictable, of course. By monitoring their presence, I know which worlds will suffer civil wars, planetary conflicts, and Republic bombardment. Of course they are. They're droids with very specific protocols that unless changed will dictate their movements. Unless you shut them down at the source, they will be stalking you until you are captured or terminated. Why don't you ask their predecessor? That archaic memory-impaired assassination droid will know more about his subsequent generations than I would. I am willing to indulge some of your questions. A common misconception not supported by facts. Revan did not intend to destroy the Republic. He deliberately left the infrastructure of many planets intact and many military production facilities. I believe that by whatever means he used to build his armada, he recognized that it was somehow a limited source, or that he was only willing to use it to a point. My prediction is that whatever production facility was being employed, it carried a price that Revan perceived as detrimental to the goals of the Sith. And that is why Revan left many military production facilities in the Republic intact. That is what occupies my calculations as well. I believe that Revan saw a war on another front that we did not, or saw the value in keeping a strong military force. That is also a mystery to me. I do not have any evidence upon which to build an answer. It is significant that after the defeat of Malak, the forces decreased considerably, and after Revan's departure from known space, production ceased completely. It is my prediction that whatever was producing such forces needed a strong, effective leader to ensure its stability. Without Revan or Malak, there was no such figure left among the Sith. Unlike Revan, Malak demonstrated no concern for the future of the Republic in his attacks. His stratagems were painfully obvious, intending to crush all resistance everywhere. There was little thought beyond the complete destruction of anything that opposed him. He left quite a mess. 
I'm still trying to assess all the damage. Between the two, I would have preferred Revan rule the galaxy. He had foresight in his conquest, a subtlety that Malak did not possess. That is also a mis- It is significant that at it is my prediction that- You may speak. A common mis- Revan did not intend to destroy. I believe that by whatever means he used to build his armada, my prediction is that what- And that is why Revan- I am willing to- Civil War, and I doubt the Republic found them all. Theory, it is possible that the Sith still hold one such base, if not several. Consolation, but I would not worry, Master. I imagine it will not be long before their murderous hands try to seize you by the throat. Twi'lek metaphor. Query. Master, excuse me. One thing I have noticed as we travel the galaxy. You seem to possess the ability to understand a variety of alien languages. Forgive me, but that does not seem in keeping with my assessment of your talents. Query. May I see it? Answer, because it seems to know all the languages I do, and I am feeling degrees of familiarity and inferiority both at once. Observation, this is indeed familiar. Indeed, it seems to be modeled after my vocabulator, with some modifications, of course. Curious, you say you obtained this device on Paragus. Observation. Master, I do believe this device serves multiple functions, including tracking your position for any HK units in the vicinity. Objection. 
master. They do not know we have discovered it, which means the advantage is ours. Statement. I suspect when the time is right, this device can be used to pinpoint the location of the HK factory. And I... I mean, we can deal with them once and for all. Answer. Master, the nature of the signal from the sonic imprint sensor is such that we must wait until it is signaled. It does not please me any more than it does you, but one of the primary traits of an assassin or assassin droid is patience. Statement. Statement. Master, you wound me. Not physically, but in my behavior core. It is true that I once possessed many more protocols and upgrades, but time and damage has taken its toll. And I am afraid that I have a rather long history of memory problems, which has also compromised my effectiveness as well. Still, you will find me a valuable asset master, willing and able to terminate anything you point me towards. Statement. Statement. Ah, yes. Them. Very well. What did you wish to know? Recitation. I believe it is a passive tracking device designed to relay our position to HK units in the area. Answer. Master, I have a suspicion all we need to do is wait. They will come to us, I believe. Answer. Then their base of operations will remain a secret, and we will be no better off than we were before. Answer. Master, the nature of the... It does not please me any more than... you showed me on Nar Shadda. It's gonna take some time to let it sink in, but, but thanks. I feel alive. It's strange, but it feels right somehow, like a piece inside me just clicked into place. More grenades? All right. Well, keep hoping, because that's not my specialty. Trust me, mass slaughter weapons just cause trouble. Interjection. Master, I must disagree. Merely the threat of mass slaughter... Would you please shut him down? It's been like that ever since he arrived. Here's how to kill this, here's how to kill that. Correction. Assassination theory and execution of said theories is my primary function. I also possess excellent hearing. Great. Good point. But look, be careful with them. All it takes is one blaster bolt to your bandolier strap and suddenly you're Paragus. Get it? All right, all right. Keep your robes on. Here you go. Something up? What did you want to know? Sounds good to me. I'll deal.